Employee trips to offices appear to be slowly increasing. Castle Systems, it's a company that tracks data from key cards and devices, recently found office visits have reached about 26% of pre-pandemic levels when averaged across 10 big cities. Dallas tops that list with the most employees working in the office while New York and San Francisco are lagging behind. But when you do go back, things could look a lot different. News Nation's Ashley Katz got a look inside one company's campus to see how they are making things safe for their employees. This is Horizon Therapeutics' new U.S. headquarters. The biotechnology company just opened its 70-acre campus Your body temperature is normal. in suburban Chicago. Horizon began remodeling all 660,000 square feet in early 2020. We had the, the benefit of starting this and beginning the construction right when COVID started, so we were able to adapt a lot of things. Even with the uncertainty of the pandemic, Horizon CEO Tim Walbert pressed forward with the massive project. When we talk about it being personal to us, it, it definitely is personal to me. Horizon develops medicines for patients with rare diseases. Walbert is Walls one of up. them. The center space was very closed off, so we literally opened up the whole floor plan. He designed the new workspace to make even the most concerned employees feel safe. It's going to be people slowly adapting and people with different levels of comfort. Dozens of people will eventually fill these cubicles, but right now they must sign up online to use an office instead. But on the days that you see people and you run into someone that you haven't seen in a year, it's like, it's like a little family reunion that you have each time. After a year of working remotely, Aaron Frankel is getting used to his new digs. It's not just a new setting. They've made a lot of things touchless. But a whole new experience. You just put a cup there and it brews it without ever touching any surfaces. From ordering coffee on his smartphone. Even the bathrooms, you have like an arm thing that you can kind of use to open the door. So you don't have to like have those just common touch points. Horizon also has its own daycare called Little Horizons. As I get some really good one on one quality time with my daughter every morning in the car, driving up here. Knowing that we don't have the flexibility to run out like we used to, you have to provide a much broader list of amenities um, to employees to make it worthwhile to come back into the office versus staying at home. For Frankel, it's the little little things that make a big difference. I don't feel like there's any kind of chance of any exposure. I just, I feel super safe while I'm here. Giving him more time to spend with the one who matters most. Ashley Ketz, News Nation. Wow, I, it's really, for so many companies, it's re-envisioning based mm -hmm. on what you do as a company, how your employees can safely come back, feel good doing so, and to still be productive. Because for some others, you might think, well, they're, they're better at home. Right. They get the job done. Exactly. People have been in a lot of Zoom meetings over the past year. Right. And life has been different. You also have to wonder the other side of it, which is folks who don't come back to the office at all. Companies decide we don't want to pay the rent in some fancy building downtown. Right. We, you know, 70% of our company works from home now, just mm -hmm. as a cost saving measure. So the world will be different. Productivity, efficiency, money. Yes. Oh, right. yes.